out into the community, setting up staging points where people will be, be able to go and access those resources. Uh, the ro additional roads will be cleared today, but we're still asking people not to get out in the areas if they don't need to. It is impeding the relief effort. We need those areas clear if you don't belong there in order to get the resources in to help the people who are in that particular area. If you have any questions uh, of the Emergency Operations Center that are not available through the media, and I know the TV and radio stations are providing this information repeatedly, uh, but we are being inundated here with calls that, for information that is widely available, so we ask you please be very careful uh, about making sure you have a valid serious question uh, and not inundating us with, with very um, with, with questions that that you can have answered by the media routinely the community should start seeing a little more normalcy today uh, and that's a good sign so we'll be back with you later today uh, after we get some reports on some of our agencies uh, and what they're going to be doing but most of the agencies in the community will very shortly be returning uh, to delivering services. So there's a large portion of this community that is elderly, that is dependent on services coming out to the community. Those agencies are now uh, assessing when they'll have those services back online. We will be reporting that information as soon as possible later in the day. We've been inundated with offers of services and supplies, and we are going to be setting up some systems to help direct your calls and your donations and your offers to those agencies that are in charge of delivering these to the community. So please bear with us. Uh, we'll be back with you very shortly this morning. Uh, thank you, Kate. Let me bring you up to date about what occurred last night. Uh, uh, in the restricted area uh, south of Kennel Drive, we only had to make four arrests for looting. In North Dade, we made four more, so there were only eight arrests last night for looting. Uh, that's way down compared to the night before and compared to the day. We had to make 70 arrests for curfew violations, but of course they were minor things. Uh, we've increased one death uh, last night. Uh, we're now up to 14, plus one from the city of Miami, which brings the total to date that we are aware of to 15. Uh, Fire will talk today about them and the guard uh, starting some serious search kinds of, uh, of missions, and so that number may rise, but it only went up one uh, last night. Uh, we have blockaded uh, the south part of Dade. That is working. Uh, there are many crews out now going up and down the streets, clearing the roadway, clearing the lights, uh, doing all the things that needed to be done. Broward Sheriff's Department has sent a contingent of 70 uh, police officers. We're using those today to work our serious major uh, 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 traffic signal intersections uh, in South Dade to facilitate the flow of uh, cars. Uh, we also have about 200 civilian volunteers that will be at different uh, traffic signal intersections uh, helping you get through those uh, uh, lights. I know it was a mess yesterday, but I think in some of the major ones you'll see uh, somebody there today to assist you through. Uh, we're getting a number of requests of, of how they can help the Metro Dade Police Department, and we set up a phone bank, 471-1753 uh, through 1757. Uh, if you think you have skills that will help the police department, if you'll call that phone number, they will take your name and your skill, and they will assess that against our needs, and we'll try to find things for you to do to assist if that's what you